Alright, and thank you very much for joining me here again for another Kuma Style review. This is TJ Duckett, and today we're reviewing Mastermind Creations, their Night Morpher 03 Cyclops, which is a vessel made by Shockwave that looks like Shockwave to carry around Shockwave and all of the other Decepticons. So alright, here we go. The boat mode's pretty straightforward, but we'll go ahead and take a look at it from all angles. Alright, more to the side. Let's see what we've got going on in terms of the back here. Oops. And just really quick, there are tabs on the bottom that can actually stand this guy up. So if you flip those out, there you go. That'll make turning this guy around a lot easier. There's the back. There's the side. Okay. Make sure it's focused there for you. Okay. And once again, there's the front. So, I'll go ahead and turn it again to the side. Just to have more of it in view here. Once again, making sure it's focused. Awesome. But everything's pretty straightforward. The, I don't exactly know what these are called, rotors or wheels or, you know, but those spin. It has two turrets, which do turn, here on the top, middle, and on the front base level, which is awesome. Very straightforward. What you see is what you get in terms of the boat mode. A lot of people have seemingly asked on the boards. But no, it does not float. There are definitely too many seams and things like that since it is a Transformer toy from the transformation for it to, you know, to sustain that air tightness so that it floats. But one thing that's cool is here on the bottom, it's not really that noticeable. They did do a good job of keeping the seams and stuff like that as, I guess, seamless as possible, but... If you go ahead and unlock this top half, okay, and this bottom part moves a bit forward, or a bit backwards actually. Alright, there is a nice little trinket in here. Let me go ahead and pull them out. It's not really the easiest to pull out, but, okay, make sure his tabs are correct, I fault. Yeah, just make sure he's seen there on camera. And it comes with a nice little submarine. And even though I'll go through the transformation and it does look like a miniature Cyclops, this toy here in the front is actually Shockwave himself. In the storyline that came with the comic, basically, as I said at the beginning, Shockwave created Cyclops as a vessel of his, his own likeness, kind of like a broadside or a tidal wave more of a carrier bot to, you know, shuttle him and the other Decepticons around in. But yeah, this is actually Shockwave himself, and he turns into a mini submarine. And I'll go ahead and go through his transformation into robot mode towards the end, but yeah, honestly, this part's the best. So stay tuned for that. Alright, now we're getting to the fun stuff. We're about to transform Cyclops into its robot mode. Just a fair warning before I go ahead and get started. This toy does have quite a few tabs and things like that. They do a great job of locking everything into place and giving it that really seamless appeal and a really sturdy aesthetic and play life in boat mode but at the same time they are an SOB when it comes to transforming the figure. In fact I do have here, it's actually part of a letter opener, but I would recommend having a tool on hand, even if it's a very small flathead screwdriver, something like this, just to get under any tight crevices or anything like that, 
without damaging the plastic. Once again, that's just in case I need them. I have went through this transformation quite a few times now just to get prepared for this video, but it's still finicky. I'm not going to lie. It's really tight. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to take each of the wheels and turn them to the side here. From there, there are a few tabs here. One's right there, one's right there, one's right there. And it is symmetrical. That's the nice part about transforming this top part. Just for the sake of the video, I don't really feel like taking too long on that. So I'm just taking my tool, which I showed you, and getting underneath to go ahead and pull those out. I'll go ahead and turn it around now. I'm going to do the same thing. First tab, second tab. We're just making sure all the sides are untabbed. Sorry, I just caught part of my light and burned myself. Yikes. Now, on, on the inside, you'll see they're not symmetrical just by looking at them here. That's one side. That's the other side. Now, the side with this hinge, that's the way you're going to want to fold these wings. And that's, you'll see their wings when you turn it out to be. But just go ahead and fold that that way. Okay? Alright. Now we can go ahead and turn these wheels back. They're fine. But this back arm here, well it's an arm, it looks like a steam pipe, but it's an arm. It does have tabs over here as well. We're going to go ahead and make sure that's untabbed from the back. Alright. And you'll see it's very fiddly, very floppy. So just be careful with it. It's nothing that's going to necessarily break or anything like that. But on this side, this whole leg area swings out. Okay. Awesome. All right. Now, I'll go ahead and just let you know, this is the chest right here. And this is the torso-ish abdomen area. Go ahead and just swing that forward just to get this locked in place so it's not flopping around anymore. Swing that around, and then it just pushes inward. Okay, boom. And at least that part's locked for you. And we can go ahead and flip his leg, leg flaps down. Anybody who's ever owned a Fans Project toy is used to these crotch flaps and shit. Pardon my language, but yeah. Alright, there's that. Okay. And boom. That's basically the body of Cyclops there which is awesome. So, now we can go ahead and separate the legs, which is sweet. And that part just fell off for me, which is fantastic. I'll move that to the side for the time being because it's not a necessity, but I'm going to put it back on in a second. Now on each leg, they are symmetrical. So I'll go ahead and do one in depth and run through the other one real quick. But, this top half right here, you'll see a tab. Go ahead and move that. It's a shin plate. Off. Alright, and this leaves a little bit in the front here. The front half of that flaps up. And then this goes up as well. Alright, and from there, this bottom part here, this folds up. Or folds backwards. Like I said, these tabs are pretty tight, so I need to actually give myself some leverage. And flips backwards, and boom, now we can fold out the foot. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, and that's actually a leg. Alright, so this, I'm going to flip it upwards, I'm going to fold this back part out, and it's nice because that part fell off, I can actually cheat with that, and put it back in. So I'm just going to go ahead and pre-start this, get the top half folded up, and just clip it back on here. One moment. And let's see where to clip it on now. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, okay. So let's go forward first. Then boom, then boom. Flip the foot up. Okay, bam. Alright. And there we go. Now our robot's walking on two feet. Okay, so I'm actually going to back this up a little bit. Back my camera up. Oh no, you see the secrets of my hillbilly photo set up. What am I going to do? So, alright. 
We've got the bottom half of Cyclops completed. Now we'll go ahead and, of course, go with the top half. All right. As you can probably tell, these are his shoulders, and these parts are his arms and hands. We'll go ahead and do the easy side first. I call it the easy side because, well, I feel like it's the easy side. What you do is just take this steam pipe and fold it out, and the arm automatically folds forward. Okay? Then you can go ahead and just start moving it around like so. It's a pretty natural transition, honestly. Not too bad at all. Alright? So now I'll get that a little bit forward for you. Alright. Now, gotta start having some fun here. This hand's a little, or a lot of it, different. But, there are two tabs right here. The instructions say to press right here, but personally I'd press more right there because it makes sense. That's where the tabs are. So I'm going to press right there and just move it out. Alright? And that arm comes out. So from there, it's hard to really see, but let me see how close I can actually get the camera to this. Right. One second. Okay. So let me get some good light in there as much as I can. And you'll see right in here, there's a hole. That hole actually slides the shoulder into place. It's like an L shape. And when you have it in hand, you can see it, but I just wanted to give you a clue as to what you're looking for. And boom, it slides in and slides back. So let me go ahead and move my camera back so we can finish this up because we are home stretching right now. This is great. A lot better than I expected even. So, okay. With that, I am going to take this, fold it back, and then these two halves up top, just fold those as well, and after that, there's a little flap here that will just fold around. So boom. There you go. We have headless cyclops. And let me go ahead and peg this piece back in. Sorry about that. I probably need to just glue it, but I'll do that when I'm not reviewing. Give me one second there. Take a look at that. Boom, bam, that's in place. Okay, great. All right. Okay, so we have now Headless Shockwave. Okay, well, figure's not really fun without the head, so let's go ahead and make that happen. What we're going to do, these wings that we messed with earlier, that same hinge, we're just going to turn to the side here so you can see. Take this, fold it up, and in the back here, there's his head. I'm, you can use your tool, you can use whatever you want, but... That just folds forward. Alright. Get that back. Alright. Flip that around. I don't know if you noticed, but this does flip around. So you do need to flip that back. Boom. And then, there is a hole, if you can see it, right there. And there's a peg right here. So you just need to fit those two together. Alright, and boom, there you go, you're basically done with this figure as of right now, but I also forgot, he does have tabs right here that need to tab in, so tab those in so his body's secure, that's why he's been flopping around. I don't want to do this figure a disservice by not having him as secure as he's supposed to be, but yeah, okay, you have basic Cyclops right there. I would say you're 98% done, but unfortunately the last 2% sucks when it comes to his backpack. So, 
we're going to go ahead make sure these wings are folded up correctly so what you do and this doesn't suck as much as it feels like you're going to break it but let me make sure my camera's here to notice this but I'm actually going to put the camera up so you can see what I'm doing on each side you take the wings you actually fold it backwards like the top half alright so make sure the wings are positioned correctly you just take those and you have to fold backwards see I hate this part of the transformation because of course when I want to do it in front of people it starts to give me problems and suddenly just works and then fold this half over Okay, and we're going to do that on each side. Fold it in. And it's a hard balance because it really does, to a point, feel like it's going to break. Like it literally should break. You know, not a big fan. So and then, fold that back over. Make sure that, of course, I pop his head out. Wow. That's not normal. That was just me. I'm foolish with it. Okay, we'll secure that back. And boom. We have... Finished Cyclops. Oops, let's go ahead and get him um, posed a little bit better there. I want to get him back, get my camera back, get everything out of your way, and there we go. He is complete. Alright, now we're just going to go ahead and go over some of the articulation points of this beast of a bot, just so you can go ahead and get a quick ideal of its size. We have... Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Winner, Cyclops. <laughs> He's a big kid. And even though this isn't meant to be a Masterpiece toy, I mean, I can definitely see why. And we'll go over the articulation and stuff, and that'll shed a little bit li uh, more light on why I can see why in a second. So going over his head, I love it. Definitely on a ball joint and stuff like that. He's got a nice little rigid texture to his neck, like a rubbery, instead of just showing the ball joint and stuff. Awesome, awesome, awesome attention to detail by Mastermind Creations. Like that, it's just little stuff like that that gets my rocks off when it comes to these tools. So, okay, that's the head, fully articulated ball joint, 360 degrees, full range of up and down. It is what it is. Now, the shoulders on each side, they do go up and down, not a lot of in and out, because of its transformation process, the in and out actually makes the shoulders go down, this one actually doesn't at all, but, you know, it's not really worth it, so it's more of an in and out, straightforward thing, but the arms inside do have the ability to go in and out, so, especially on this big shoulder though, it just has to kind of move around itself, if that makes sense, so that kind of hinders the articulation, so, okay, Going into the arms on each side, there is bicep swivel. Um, you can't move the, you technically can move the um, cannon or steam chimney or whatever it is. But since for the transformation that moves the arm upwards, it's not something you want to do. It is limited in terms of range of motion. That's the farthest this, it goes up. So pull, goes down to a straight point, and yeah. Okay. The other arm is obviously different. It does have bicep swivel and stuff. It actually has full elbow articulation, but it's just one of those things where the forearm's so huge and the shoulder's so huge that it, it's sacrificed. I mean, there's just not a lot of range there. Okay. Now, going on to his waist, just making sure that we can see that on camera. He does have waist articulation. 
with these flaps up. Okay. And it's kind of limited because of the fact that his lower abs hit his bottom flaps, but at the same time, it's okay. It's not a bad thing. It's definitely not a waste of movement. Now his thighs for ratchet, but I'd watch that, especially trying to put him on one leg and stuff, because his legs are very, very heavy. So even though they ratchet, you don't want to weaken those, you know? Use them for what it's worth, but don't abuse them. Now his knees, fully articulated, ratchet and knees, very strong in the thigh swivel too. And when it comes to his ankles, he doesn't have ankle articulation, he does have ankles, but each part has a separate swivel, both the front and the back of the foot, so it, it's nice. He does have a lot of room for um, leg posability and stuff like that. And as you can see, you know, for a big bot, he, he, he's not a slouch. Not at all. Not at all. So definitely a cool posable bot. I, I like him. I do like him quite a bit. And even doing this review and going through the posability and stuff like that gives me even more of an appreciation for him. Alright, and now for the best Legends class figure we will probably see in our entire lifetime, Shockwave. This one's awesome. Once again, this is the mini submarine that comes in the front end of Cyclops in boat mode. But yeah, before we get started here, I do want to show something. Cyclops actually has a little peg in the back. You can see that circle. Right here. Okay, put Cyclops back. The top end of Shockwave actually plugs into that for back storage. So it's pretty neat, not gonna lie. But anyways, getting into the transformation for the best Legends class figure ever, Shockwave. Alright, go ahead and get this started. And this is Fiddly. Very tiny ball joints and stuff like that. He's got awesome articulation, but, you know, it, it's a figure where things are going to pop off and stuff. Don't worry about it. You definitely didn't. Boom, right there. Okay. So, alright. We're just getting this top half separated here to get things going. Make sure the camera's focused once again. Okay. And these are his legs. Alright, so basically you just want to break everything up. Get them nice and ridiculous looking. Okay, you're going to turn them around until you can see the chest. Okay, you can see the bot mode, or the chest of the robot right here. So you know where the legs are, where they're supposed to be. Fold these up to the side, these propell propellers. Okay. And his arms, just make sure the bicep on his right arm is pulled out. The cannon arm explains itself. Okay. And boom. Most of the way there. Sorry. I know my hand's in the way. Okay. And it's crazy just how similar he is to Big Cyclops. Okay, so we got his legs. We're actually going to turn those around so the propellers are facing outside. Okay, we'll go ahead and get his backpack in the back there. So it's easier to see. There's that. His feet are on ball joints too. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but it does what it has to do. You just take the feet and turn them around. So that his feet stick out. Ugh. Or you could just take them off the ball joint and put them back. I think that's going to be my new transformation process for him. Not going to lie. So make sure that his feet are out. And okay. Now his backpack, kind of fiddly. Just make sure his wings, this whole thing turns around. So these dots, just make sure those are pointed towards the bottom when you're done. So okay. The wings just fold in fold in and boom done 
take this, turn it around, and his backpack snaps in. Let's go ahead and get that done correctly. That downwards, and boom. Okay. And I actually might have transformed the backpack wrong, not going to lie. Um, I like the way it looks either way, to be honest with you. But yeah, nice minifigure. I just want to go ahead and get him on camera real quick. Get him closer. Focus, damn it. And boom. Now, I'll show you why I think this is the best Legends class figure ever. Give me one second here. And just size-wise, we'll go ahead and put him by Cosmos, just to prove that he is legend size. But his articulation is out of this world. Alright. Shoulders that move up and down, in and out a little bit. Full bicep swivel. Elbow joints that work on both arms. Let me go ahead and put his... He even has little crotch plates. Jesus. Alright, little crotch plate. Full swing in the knees, or the thighs, freaking thigh swivel, fully articulated knees, and feet that move for that articulation and posing. Let me go ahead and put him in a super clear, cool picture pose. I mean, seriously, this is, this is the mini bot that comes with him. And they said Mastermind are doing more of these mini bots using this mode. And let me go ahead and focus. Yeah, to be honest with you, he's the best <laughs> add-on bonus I've ever seen in anything ever. Like, this this figure is out of control. Awesome. He is single-handedly the coolest thing, period. Like, for a Legends class figure, he is out of this world. Um, honestly, even if you're not the biggest fan of the boat, <sighs> I would almost say this minifigure is worth the cost of admission in itself but going ahead and putting the whole thing back together here getting them both on stage so that I can give some final thoughts and stuff like that God. I'm sorry I'm like sitting here like creaming out over a minifigure, but yeah, he is. Wait till you see him. He's awesome. But both of these guys together, honestly, $160, especially with free shipping since it's over $150 from TF Source. I got it ship free priority. Got it in that two to three days standard. Yeah, this is out of control, beyond worth it. Let me move the camera back a little bit so it's even more in there for you guys to see. I mean, you get Shockwave, which is awesome, or Shockwave, Cyclops, which is awesome in and of itself. But then you do get Shockwave as well, and that, it's just awesome. In terms of durability, yeah, it rocks. The tabs are fiddly, but treat it like you're an adult, and, you know, that's, that's all I can say. We're all grown-ups here, we're all collectors. If this is your first third-party toy, or masterpiece styled toy just handle with care I mean between my video and other reviews and stuff like that you've got plenty of videos to watch even to transform it so just take it step by step do it slow it doesn't matter if it takes an hour as long as it's not broken at the end you're you're rocking but yeah it does have to be transformed carefully the transformation pissed me off at first but it's well worth the cost I mean $160 I think about that as like MP11 you know, that, that's $160, plus shipping. Um, City Commander, pff, crap like that. It's, just for armors, $130 plus shipping, which is about $150 in itself. And you get all of this, this literal masterpiece of a toy. The mini shockwave and everything like that, $160? Buy it now! Especially when I'm hearing that there's a second release that might cost upwards towards $200. Right now, TF Source, the place to buy, $159.95. Free shipping and handling since it's under $150 for US 
U.S. residents, and then I believe it's a lower uh, cost since it's over 150 for international members. But you can definitely go to their site and check. But yeah, by all means, do it. And before I go, I forgot one piece of articulation. His hand does have a movable thumb, and it has the pointer finger, which is by itself, and the rest of the fingers, kind of like the Masterpiece Seekers and the like. The other three are, you know, clamped together, but they are articulated as well. So, that's the last little tidbit, but yeah, between, once again, Cyclops over there, Shockwave in the front, yeah, buy it, buy it. Buy it now. This this toy's out of this world. Thanks again for watching Kuma Style Reviews. Go ahead, follow me on Twitter, Kuma Style GFX, or go to my site, which now has a domain, www.kumastyle.com. Go ahead and check out all my reviews, my photography, and we've even got a nice podcast going. Me, my friend Gene, my friend Ian, Three Dudes or 3D Podcast. You can also look that up on iTunes as well. So... A lot of things are going good, and honestly, with toys like this, it's feeling really good, too. Thanks again, guys. This is TJ Duckett, and have a great one. See you next time.